Have you ever wondered what is going on in this chess position? Well, in this episode, me and Gotham Chess are going to try to figure out together what actually is going on in different chess positions, and we're going to try to guess what the engine evaluation is. Here you can compare how a WFM analyzes and evaluates different positions in comparison to an international master, the title of Gotham Chess. Hope you enjoy the video, hope you find it instructive, and let's do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, check this out. So, the material is equal, the king is on B1, pawn structure is like pretty similar. I guess at this point cannot take over here because this bishop and queen are, you know, threatening this bishop. There's a pin going on here too, so the only thing that I can say is that, you know, there are a couple pins. My first guess would be that this is equal. At the same time, this rook is over here kind of trapped and, you know, this rook cannot really go absolutely anywhere. I don't know where this rook is going to go. This white to move. One thing that I'm seeing, though, is that I feel like there's these squares right here that are pretty strong because these pawns are, like, on the on the sixth rank. Um, so I feel like if we were able to put a knight here and a knight here, these pawns would be very weak. And I also feel right now that, you know, because white doesn't have the pawns on the third rank, they're in the fourth rank, feels like, you know, white is not as unsafe. Like, if a knight came over here, there would be, like, no pawns attacked. So because of that, I feel like white might be a bit better. Like, there's knight f3, knight g5, knight e6, or knight c3, knight b5, knight d6 that could happen very soon. So... These are so, like these are some of the ideas that uh, I'm thinking about right now. I would set this like plus one point something for white, one point two, one point three or something. Hey Anna. Hello, Lavi. I just realized that this game started out in a really weird way. <laughs> I hate to suggest this, but I I think this is a fake game. <laughs> Lavi, I hate to agree with you, but I think so too. <laughs> But I yeah. think the position is kind of kind of cool anyways. Cool is definitely a word to describe this position. <laughs> okay, so here what I was thinking is that it looks like pretty much symmetrical, but uh, I just thought that because like white pawns are in the fourth file in or fourth file instead of the third file uh, or third rank, I just thought that these pawns were a little bit less vulnerable than the pawns on e6, d6. I thought that there might be some ideas with like knight f3, knight g5, or like knight c3, knight g knight b5. So I felt like the knights would be stronger on g5, b5 than what black knights would be on b4, g4. So I said this is like plus one for white or something like that. I think actually white only has really one move to be better, like long term, which is e5. Like I think white has to play e5 now because I think in the game knight f3 happened and then black took on e4 with check. And I don't think that's good. Yeah. But it, even that position might be fine. I actually said it was less than plus one because I, I was confident the computer would find a way to defend it. But I could be, I, I said plus 0.8. So I could just be wrong. So we can turn on stock fish and see. E5 is plus three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. Where is it? Oh, here? Yeah, here. E5. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. But yeah, it's probably because of the space advantage, right? Yeah, I did not think it was that high of an evaluation. I'm pleasantly surprised. I was yeah. completely incorrect. Yeah. Well, I was like, I said E5 was the right move, but uh, I did not think it was plus four. Okay, I'm going to go for the next ones. This, like, if you just look at it from, from the beginning, this looks like an incredibly good position for black. But this is like a pawn up for white and unless like black checkmates, typically like bishops and rooks work better than rooks and knights. First thing that comes to mind is like that if the king moves, like there's going to be like some checkmate threats. It looks like black might have like threats of like going g5 or, or g5 or something. So yeah, I don't know what this white king is doing over here, by the way. What's the rook doing on g2 as well? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I definitely think that black is better. I think that this king is very unsafe, but I also don't really know how, like, you know, black is going to win this. I feel like white isn't a bit of a sug swing. Like, where are you going to put your rooks? Black has both of the open files. Black has a really active knight. This king is very unsafe. So even without, like, analyzing what the next exact moves are going to be, I feel like this would at least have to be, like, minus... 1.5 or something yeah so justin i think really just doesn't like his pieces very much <laughs> yeah justin i don't know what's going on here man but this is not how you treat rooks yeah no, 
basically my logic was in this game, either white is like minus seven or eight, uh, or it's just forced checkmate. I don't see how white doesn't just lose immediately. You, I guess you can play rook c1. Yeah. And like uh, lose a bishop and then just be much worse and just lose. So I think it's forced mate or at the best case scenario, it's like minus six, Where did you see seven. the checkmate? Yeah. What did you think? Well, I thought that either it's forced mate or it's like minus 1.5. King is just so unsafe on h7. The rooks are just so bad. It's going to take so many tempos to fix them. Let's see. Yay! It's minus nine, ten, six, eight, nine, <laughs> minus ten. Wow. Uh, he actually won the game, though. White won? Yeah, white won. At a higher depth, it's made in ten. Incredible. Okay, so this also looks very, very, very good for white. Okay, it's black to move, though. It looks like, I mean, here, white's idea is obviously just to go for this pin, rookie one. There is a huge ping going on over here. Without even thinking, I'd give it like a plus five or something, but we need to analyze. So first things first, what happens? So bishop f5 could be a move. I guess the black's idea is to castle and then just go, or to move the pieces and then go for a long castle. But the thing is that they can't even do that because this knight is trapped over here. So yeah, I'm not really sure how black is going to get out of this one. Maybe queen d7, queen e6 could be one plan. I'm not sure. Queen, queen d7, queen e6. What about if rook f5 here, actually? Can we go for something like this? We gotta be a bit more aggressive, be a bit more aggressive, I feel like. Rook f5, let's go for this move. The queen maybe goes to e2 or something. Queen d7, queen d6, but there's just gonna be rook e1. I'm just trying to get this king out of here. That's like my first idea over here. King f7, rook e8, and then just, just go this way. This actually could be something. Nah, plus five, guys. <laughs> no, my final answer, bing, bang, boom, plus three in the room. I think I'm going to say plus three. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's like probably plus four to five for white. But I actually think the best move for black here is king f7, which is, a fun, which is a funny move. Yeah. I like think so king too. F, you saw king f7, like rook e8, king g8 idea? Yeah, I, those were my first. I mean, those were my first ideas, and I was looking at rook f5 as well to then go king f7. Because uh, yep. I thought that then the rook is not pinned. But I mean, if rook f5 doesn't work because of queen h8, I think you have to go king f7, king g8, and rook e8. So king f7, it, we're right. It's the only move, and white is only winning by plus three if king f7 is played. Way! Wow. <laughs> wow, well done. Well done. I did not believe that King F7 was going to save white. Also, look at this next move. Do you see what the, this is? What's, what's, what is C4? Wow. To open to up play, the diagonal, yeah? Yeah, to play bishop here and also knight C3. Yeah, C4 is crazy. So, yeah, the position is like basically hopeless unless you play King F7. King F7, rook E8 is a really high level defense. Okay, so this is the position that we're seeing here right now. So this, from the first sight, looks amazing for white, but I don't know what's happening. It's black to move right now. If black takes this bishop, how many pieces is black going to be up? One, two, three. Okay, so black is going to be up two minor pieces. Can white... Does white have compensation for two minor pieces? Okay, so from a first sight, I think this is really good for black. I'm not really sure how black is going to get checkmated. And if black doesn't get checkmated, then... You know, it's two pieces for white. I mean, black's got to get checkmated. Otherwise, it's just winning. So let's calculate a few things. I'm going to say that you can take this one. And I guess maybe white then wants to take on d5. Ah, okay, okay. It's, it's a fork. Okay. So I guess you cannot move it. Okay, but what can we do instead? You can just take it back probably. I mean, if c4, then what? Can, could there maybe be like rook over here? Rook f8? Black is probably going to lose a piece. But what I wanted to see was if um you could take back over here and then after c4 because this seems to be the only move that i see that like would win the bishop immediately rook f8 the queen cannot go anywhere there i guess the queen has to go to e3 i'm not sure this looks crazy anna i hate to interrupt your train of thought but i just i don't know if you discovered this yet but black doesn't have the right to castle I did not know that. Thank you for the information, Levy. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that's fair for us to know because I don't know how the hell this position happened again, but Black castled on move seven and then uncastled. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, like... <laughs> how the 
did that happen? <laughs> How did Black Castle and Uncastle? What are these games? <laughs> I have an idea. This is a crazy idea. Look. Takes two pieces up. Takes. Takes. C4. Still two pieces up. Takes. Sacking the... No, sorry. The rook here. Queen there. Still two pieces up. Takes. Three pieces. Queen. Blah, blah, blah. If rook takes... If, if, if rook takes bishop g5, if queen takes bishop g5 check, rook d1 check me because the king needs to go to b1. Is this crazy? This could be insane. Could this actually be an idea? I'm going to go ahead and say that this is actually better for black. I'm going to say like minus, minus three for, no, minus two for black because there might be a way of, of, of defending this. Minus two, I think I'm going to say. I am slowly starting to believe in the fact that white's position is actually not that bad, but I actually think it's like maybe even minus 1.5 I said FG. minus two, but I have a line that is really crazy. Okay, this is a really crazy line, Levy. So the idea is this. I was thinking pawn takes g6, mm -hmm. and then uh, white takes on d5, I was thinking. C takes d5, although I'm not sure if white has anything better, but this is the move I was analyzing. And then bishop takes d5, I was thinking. And once again, I don't know if white has anything better, but I was looking at c4 um, just to pin. Um, and then I was looking at rook f8. Okay, and now I'm seeing that you can go queen g4. But I was thinking if queen e3, I had the idea of... This is, looks really crazy, but I had the idea of going like bishop takes f3, sacking the queen, and then the idea being... Oh, wait, your pawn is still on h4. Okay, this is just a prank. I wanted to go bishop g5 at a point. Okay, forget about all this, Lavi. I, I only calculated rook takes g6. <laughs> I didn't even realize how strong c takes d5 was. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it's very close to equal. I think it's like minus 0. 0.5. Okay, so let's see. f takes g6, c takes d5. <laughs> knight, <laughs> what is knight d4? Wait, what? Wait, let me see. I, I don't have the position yet. Well, yeah, we both missed that completely. Wait, what have we missed? Wait, I'm so out of... So what was the position? This was, right? C4? Okay. Minus 0 0.96? Yeah, so I I was right. Rook takes g6 was, uh, was the best move, and it's minus 0. 0.6 if f takes g6 is played. Oh, but oh, you convinced me with CD bishop d5 c4, but apparently, uh, wow. Apparently, if you take on d5, knight b4, and if you take the bishop, knight a2. Wait, that's insane. Knight b4, if you take the bishop, knight a2. Oh, man. So this is the last position. So it's two pawns up for Karina here. My first thought is knight g4 or even knight d7. I'm not sure. So if knight here and the rook goes somewhere, the rook would have to probably go there or something. No, actually after this rook there, I guess you can just go queen takes h6. And then actually I think that white is, uh, white is better. My first initial thought is like plus two. Because if knight there this, queen takes h6, you cannot take here because of uh, the checkmate. I still think that this would be good for, for white though. I think that this king is very unsafe. I think this is plus two or like plus 2.5. I don't see any good defense to knight d7. Nah, plus two probably. I can't decide whether it's time for white to uh, like bail out and make a draw or white is just winning and I'm stupid. Like you just slow play it and you just, you just win very slowly. Knight d7, that was my idea. Okay, rook d8. Yeah, and then queen h6. Queen takes h6. Okay, so if rook takes, then rook c8 is mate. Yeah. Isn't there queen g7? Yeah, and then after queen g7, why don't you go queen g5? The idea being that if f6, we take it and it should just be good. And if rook takes d7, there's rook c8 check. Only move is to go king h7, I guess. And then I was thinking queen h4 check, queen h6, rook h8, and then the queen is hanging. And then <laughs> I was giving this plus two, kind of. Wow, you put in a lot more effort into the calculation <laughs> than I did. I sort of feel bad. <laughs> there's also knight d7 g5. Oh, um, I didn't see that move at all. Um, can you go knight f f6 check? I, I'm sure there's, but then king h8, yeah. queen queen d6 maybe. I was gonna say rook c7 and just slowly suffocate black or queen f6. I actually don't know rook c7 or queen f6. I think rook c7. 
Yeah, Queen of Six looks like the kind of move you want to have in at some point, but uh, the reason why I didn't say Rook C7 was because I, I thought that there might be something like Queen D1 check or something, and then like the bishop will just go to F5 and E6 and block. That That is an option, but but I was thinking maybe even there we can go G4. Rook C8, that just, does that lead to a draw? I thought it led the, to a draw. Yeah, I think it's just the draw. Yeah, I couldn't see anything more because it's just going to be perpetual, I think. Because if you take the rook, I mean, you're losing the knight, so. Yep. That's just losing. Okay, let's see. It's a draw! <laughs> Wait, what? Both of our moves lead to a draw. So knight, knight d7 is oh. a possibility. The best move after knight at knight d7 is, oh, there is rook d8. Wait, what was wrong with your idea? Queen h6? Queen, six, Queen h6. Six. Loses to bishop f5. Oh wow! So if knight c5, rook c8. <laughs> that was a that that was that was a good position though to end yeah. on. This one was a good one, I think.